<laughs> hey guys, Last Man Gaming here. Uh, I'm very excited. This is my first response video to a viewer that watched my YouTube gameplay and he delivered some excellent constructive criticism. Before I begin, please follow, subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. You can also find me on Twitch at Last Man Game, and you can also find me on the PlayStation 4 at the Calion. I'll include I'll include them visually for the edits or on the edits when I in post production. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Usually I'm inside my car, but today, you know, when I first seen that message, I wanted to do what I always do. I wanted to rage against the machine or against the bots that are talking about me. I wanted to criticize and I wanted to go defensive, you know, just be angry. But I thought, you know what? Walk around the lake, get some fresh air, listen to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and breathe. And instead, I'm going to read you what he wrote me. Now, one of these days, when I get production value on here, I'll actually have it on the screen so I could read it and you can see my game or you can see my face while I post it on the screen while I have the Kepri there and I go over to build and stuff like that. But for now, this will be uh, this will be what we do. I'm going to read the comment and uh, and then I'm going to explain afterwards. So this is from Sav175 or Savvy75 or whatever he calls himself today. This is what he said to me. He said that's definitely not the best building support gameplay I've ever seen. Emperor's armor and joust with two towers? Very bad choice. Winged Blade has zero value for your team. You're a very selfish support, very selfish choice. You have very bad communication with your team. You as a true support must do the shot calls. Now I'm going to jungle buff. Attack, retreat, attack the tower. Ultimate is ready. Retreat for a second time. You have very bad initiation. And it seems like you're scared of the Hera's alt. Most of the time you're standing behind your carrying mage. Why do you meet them? You must hear or have some feedback from your teammates. There is a lot, and I mean a lot, to improve in your support gameplay, last man game. You're sick of me. The you sick of me part he didn't say. I just thought I'd ad lib that and throw that in there. Uh, that was from Savvy175, or whatever he's calling himself these days. Alright, Savvy, sit down, uh, wipe your face, get the Cheetos off your fingers, get the notepad or pencil, or in your case, get the, uh, get the tablet, the stained keypad, and listen to my response. Okay? Uh, let's see, that's definitely not the best build and support gameplay. It's the best to me, and it's an opinion pretty sure that you may think that someone else might be the best and I might think that they're trash but you're entitled to your opinion you say that me dominating because the, the video that you watched we dominated you still found it you found somehow you were able to say you know what even though you won the game convincingly you still suck and to you I say okay I, I can't win them all fair enough I mean just go back and watch Incon, Solo, Double J, Duke Sloth. Watch those guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure they win everything that they do. Every, everything. Everything that they fucking do. I get it. I get it. Emperor's Armor and Joust with just two towers. Very bad choice. How so? Emperor's Armor in every game is not only underrated, it's the right choice in certain situations. See, a lot of you people are narrow-sighted and narrow-minded. You have all of these items, all of these combinations, all of these opportunities, all of these chances to try something. And for you to think that Emperor's Armor is a bad choice tells me that, one, you haven't been in a situation that I've been in, you don't have my experience, and two, maybe you don't play Guardian. First of all, it's one tower and one phoenix, but I'm assuming you're counting the phoenix as a tower, as two towers, so what? Okay, fine. Understand what Emperor's Armor does. It gives me more health and makes... In a game like Joust that is specifically focused on tower defense, why not get an item that actually helps the tower out? I got a lot of aggressive people that try to dive into the tower. Emperor's Armor... Emperor's Armor is way to go. You know what it does, right? It accelerates the attack speed of the tower, and it makes the tower harder to, you know, to knock out. 
because some of these people can get in there and they can demolish towers. So Emperor's Armor is definitely the right choice in some aspects. When I'm Kepri, when I have to lead the charge, as you say, as a true support, uh, Emperor's Armor is great because I get in there, the tower is slow, I have defense, I'm hitting the tower, I'm distracting the other uh, enemy players, and while I'm doing that, the other two people on my team are attacking the tower. I stay in there to the last minute, I ult myself, that's even more time for them to beat the tower. The tower's dead, I might die, I come back and I live. Emperor's Armor is a great choice, and it has hurt me more times than it has, or it has uh, saved me more times than it actually hurt me. So, I don't build Emperor's Armor all the time, but the situation dictates that I build it, then I will. Especially when I have these comps that go like, they'll go like three squishies with no guardian. They'll go two mages and a hunter, two hunters and a mage, an assassin, hunter, mage. Like, Emperor's Armor is slept on. So, it is not a very bad choice. It may not be the right choice for you. You might not like it. And yes, in some occasions, it could be a bad choice based on the situation. But to be a very bad choice, no, I don't think so, dude. It's a stretch. But it's your opinion. All right, very bad communication with the team. You as a true support must do the shot calls. I'm going for jungle buff, blah, 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 blah. Listen, buddy. I don't know what you know about the smite community, but you try forming a team with a bunch of people that are doing their own things. Everybody's a quarterback. Everybody's a chief. Everybody's Michael Jordan. Nobody wants to listen to somebody tell them what to do. You're over here saying bad communication with the team. I'll do one. I'll do one better, buddy. There is no team. No one communicates on that team. We're not in the same party. We don't kill with each other. I think he's a worthless random, and he thinks that I'm a worthless random. It's just how it is. He thinks I'm a loser. I think he's a clown. I think he has a lot of opportunity. He thinks I'm trash. So for you to say bad communication with the team, you're damn right, Savvy. There is no team. You can't communicate with people that are in other parties or... Sometimes you cue, and this happens a lot, and high res fucking knows it. You get those people to where if you tell them one thing, they will actively self-destruct in a video game. They will. They will actively stop. They'll stop. They will not play. So for you to tell me I must get, what'd you say? You, uh, you're the shot caller. Come on, dude. Of course I'm the shot caller. Why do you think I have Emperor's Armor? Because I have to force these motherfuckers to get inside the tower and attack all by myself. And then they fucking... They follow. But, you know, for you to say, well, as a tank, you need to shot call and do all the team. Yeah, if this was a pro circuit, if everybody had headsets, if we were all together on one glorious team like E United or some nonsense like that, you're absolutely correct. I should corral the team and I should tell them what to do or I should initiate everything. Guess what, though? It's not like that. We don't know each other. We're all randoms. You can't tell somebody in freaking Kentucky to do something when he ain't even listening to you. Uh, Reese, that was just ironic that you live in Kentucky. So, uh, that wasn't toward you. Sorry, buddy. Um, what else? Very bad initiation. Seems like you're scared of Hera's ult. Most of the time you stand behind your carry and mage. Kepri is not known for having great initiation, though, is he? His one goes out, he pulls somebody, but he only cripples abilities. You can still auto-attack. So, I've been joust when I'm going against an auto-attack any type of god, whether it's magical or physical, the initiation is always going to be bad. On top of that, it says that if I pull somebody back with object, I get some type of protection. Bullshit. High res. High res. Bullshit. You need to fix that immediately. You need to fi you need to make sure that Kepri's actually getting meaningful protections when he's pulling somebody back. When I abduct somebody and cripple them, I still get auto attacked, as I said, 6.3 seconds ago. So with that being 6.3 seconds ago, with that being said, his initiation is not very good. If you watch any of the time that I stream, if you watch my videos, you would see that I'm a great initiator with a god that is not good at initiating. You know what happens? People like you, Savvy, and other people, you guys don't get the job done. I abduct them, and you guys can't hit abilities, you can't kill them, you can't finish the job. So don't sit here and say, bad initiation. Nah, dude. It's good initiation with a guy that's not known for initiating. Which goes on to my next point. You seem, you're behind your, your mage and your hunter. Guys, I don't know if you know this or not. Kepri is a backline support. 
He is more of a backline support character than he is a frontline tank. He is. He is simply not built like Ganesh. He is not built like Bacchus. He's not built like Gab. Hell, I wish he was like Bracken when he can go up there and get in your face and disrupt you. But if you played with his underwhelming kit, you have to play Kepri from the back. Here's why. What does his number one do? What does his one do? What is what is uh nine is one? What does his two do? A two, Rising Dawn. What does it do? In order for me to utilize Rising 2 to its best potential, I have to be behind the characters, i.e. the mage, i.e. the hunter. I'm behind them, so when they're in the front attacking, I shoot Rising Dawn. What does Rising Dawn do? It increases the protections, it increases their physical and magical protections. Kind of hard to do that if I'm the front line tank, as you say. If I'm in the front taking all the damage and stuff like that, then clearly there's no way I can do my two and give my characters their much needed protections. I can't do that. Again, Kepri and Kepri's kit is suited for backline support. He's more of a support than he is a tank. Is he a tank? Yes. Let me say that again. He's in. He is a tank, but he is not a frontline tank. Now, do I go in the front line? Absolutely. I'm the only tank there, but I always start from the back. Why? His ult. I can't ult somebody if I'M IN FRONT OF THEM, SAVVY GOD! Ah! I, how long have you played Smite? Do you even- do you play as a- GOD DAMN IT! Oh, your ignorance is fucking confounding. How the hell am I gonna ult somebody if I am in the front? I have to be in the back, watching their health. Watch me play. If you watch me play as Capri, I do one of two things. I monitor the gods all around me. Because I have to be crucial and the timing has to be crucial when I ult. Or you'll see me do you'll see me I like to call it um I like to call it pacing. What ends up happening is one of my characters looks like he's about to die, right? My hunter or my mage. He'll start running. If you watch me play, you'll see me instead of body blocking him, you'll see me in the front of him. And I'm like, I'm trying to do it with my feet, but I can't really do it. That's why I wish I was in a game. You will see me Stay in front of my character as he's running. I'm staying in front of him. Kind of like, do you play football? Probably not. You probably don't play football. Not, you probably don't. Let's face it. The only football you probably know is soccer, and you probably play FIFA. You probably don't play football. But if you play football, it's almost like a cornerback covering a wide receiver. I'm backpedaling, and I'm watching him. And right before he dies, I have to ult him. And then after I ult him, I turn around and I run. Because obviously when I ult him, I can revive him and he's tracked it back to my position. Which is why I use Wing Blade. Because some of these people are smart and they know what's going to happen. So when I ult them, they'll try to slow me. But with Wing Blade, it allows me to move even faster, pulling my character out of harm's way. Guess what, Savvy? Guess what, anybody else that's watching? You can't save anybody if you're in the front. Especially in the middle of a battle. As a Capri, if you even watch this Capri reveal, you have to be in the back. You have to have excellent awareness. You have to ult him before they get deleted. And that's what I did. So you saying that I'm scared is you being oblivious and ignorant to the fact that Capri needs to be in the back to get off most of his attacks. He has a three, but even his three, I like to use it from a distance. Hit his three, use Rising Dawn, and pull him back. Sometimes, if I'm feeling really good and accurate, I use his two, then I use his three, then I use his one. Such is not the case most of the time. So if you want me to play Capri the way that you're making it seem on this, on this, this rant that you gave me, then high res, do your job and make Capri better. You're going to have to retool everything. That's a separate video, and this video is already getting long. So what? Seems like you're scared of the hair or alt. Son, I'm not scared of any goddamn alt. <laughs> and that's what I'll say about that. <laughs> Um, why did you mute them? You must hear or have some feedback from your teammates. Buddy, let me tell you something. The PlayStation screen is bugged. So, even if it's unmuted, it, you'll see the microphone symbol by their name. It'll have an X on it. I can't change it. Um, as far as me receiving feedback, brother, let me tell you something. They receive it from me way more than I receive it from them. Why? Because I do my fucking job. I ward. I save people. I build the auras. And yes, I build Emperor's armor so we can get inside the tower. Nine times out of ten, you can ask anybody that's watching these videos, nine times out of ten, it's me saying they suck because they do, which is why I'm still stuck in bronze. Oh, that's that's another thing, guys. This is another video. Remember that video I made saying I finally got out of bronze, winning the silver? 
Guess what? Six games later of getting the shittiest teammates on the fucking planet, I'm back in bronze. Back in bronze. So that's a whole other video itself. Anyways, um, so yeah, man. There's a lot of things that you need to do when you when you uh, think about assessing my gameplay. If you're gonna come at me with Capri, I know that God inside and out, inside and out. I'm adaptable and I play. I build Capri the way he should be built based on the situation. There is no standoff formula for all types of comps. If it's an all-defensive comp, you're going to see nothing but defensive items. If it's a squishy tomp, or a comp, you're gonna, it, it's different strokes for different folks, guys. So the only thing that you did say, look at that view. I'm so mad right now. Look at that. Kind of calms me down a little bit. Um, I'll say this though, because this video is long and I doubt you'll watch all of it. I'll say this, there is, without a doubt, there is a lot that I can do to improve. That's why I play the game so much and that is what I'm doing. So you're right about that, Savage, I'll give you that. You're right about that. But you're absolutely wrong about everything else. So I need you to get up, wash the Cheetos from your fucking hands, do your mom a favor, clean your goddamn room for once in your life, go outside, breathe some air, read a book, and then think about what I just told you. Kepri is a backline tank slash support. He is more of a support than a tank, and yes, there is a difference. I come from an RPG background, and I know the damn difference between a support and a tank. And Kepri, in my opinion, in his current state, is more of a support than he is a tank. And yes, he is a backline support. Because all of his abilities will require you to have field of vision of all of your allies so you can either save or buff them and debuff the enemies at once. And you cannot do that from being in front. You can't. I can't save somebody if they're all behind me. I can't buff them if they're all behind me. So with that being said, Savage, I need you to shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Stop typing. And get in front of me. I'll save you. I promise.